Welcome back, family. So, Puffy <laughs> called Mace uh, a fake pastor that's broke and owe him $3 million, right? Mace come back and say, uh, don't nobody want to talk about it, but can't nobody talk about it but me. Everything in your mama name ain't nothing in your name. You know who to play with, man. May say finna do nothing to nobody. Look, man, check this out. Right? So look, me being me, me being Buddha, I'm finna tell y'all exactly what happened. I'ma tell y'all exactly what went on. So look, I know what happened because <laughs> this was my error. Let's go back to the to the to the shiny suit era, to the puffy having a hint every time you look around era. Now listen, this the craziest part about it because this how it all started. Big pass when big pass puffy started doing two things. He wanted to keep his own name hot. He was putting Mace on everything under the sun. Mace was on every remix. Mace was on every song. Every time you turned around, you seen Mace. Every time you looked around, you heard Mace. He was on everything, right? So check this out. So when Diddy said, how much money do y'all think I really made off him and he only did one album? Diddy, I can't tell you how many features you had Mace on. I can't tell you how many uh, songs that you put Mace on yourself that could have been Mace songs and you just made them pretty much your song. Because see, when More Money, More Problems dropped, even though they had the big verse, I'm not even sure if that was the verse that went for that for big or whatever, but let's just say it was, right? That pretty much became Puffy and Mason. But then Puffy got on his high horse and then now all of a sudden you got Puffy in the family, all about the Benjamins. Puffy tap dancing for eight minutes in a video that we didn't ask to see like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just all type of crazy stuff going on. So he made a lot of money off mace just off the hits alone you gotta think puffy had hits with mace that still get played to this day mace had every feature at that time mace was like around that time mace was the hottest artist you want anybody on the song with you is mace you want anybody doing something with you it was mace now this would a dirty part <laughs> of the game come in at like puffy said mace only did one album and that's true. And now for to tell y'all what really happened. If I was Mace, I would only did one album too. And this is the reason why. Puffy was doing stuff like shows, uh, features like doing a lot of stuff, right? To whereas he was getting paid, but you wasn't getting paid. And then when you asked for some money, he would try to give you the scraps. Of the leftovers, Buddha, what you talking about? Okay, let me break it down and explain it to you. Puffy tell Mace, we finna do this show or whatever, right? Or we gonna do this tour or whatever, right? But it's promo, so we not getting paid, <laughs> right? Then, Puffy still get cut a check. But maybe the check ain't directly in his name. Maybe it's cut directly to Bad Boy. Or more than likely, it could have been cut straight to Puffy. However he swindling, however he maneuvering, doing his business, I don't know. But Puffy get in the bag, and you not. So not only was Mace working a lot and overworking, he did a ton of stuff for free. Would I would have gave Puffy a second album? Hell no! Because the money went in the... Listen... The amount of work that Mace was doing, the money wasn't adding up. 
to the work he was doing. At this point, you might as well go get him a, a nine to five. You spent and then you and you scraping and scrapping off what Puffy giving you because you knowing the business, but you not really knowing the business like that. And then it's like, so you not getting what you deserve. It's like you win the business, but you don't know everything. You don't know everything you should be getting paid for and all that. You're not getting your paper. Puffy got your publishing. So because Puffy got your publishing, all these remixes and all that, yeah. So think about it. Mace, up front, because, I mean, we talking about back then. So let's just say back then, Mace, let's say if he got 10K for a feature. Everything Mace was doing was shooting at number one. His 10K for the feature not equaling up to the publishing that Puffy collected off of the feature. Not to mention anything Puffy did with his artists, he charged them for ad libbing, being on the song with him, being in the video with him, um, just studio time. Yes, all that Puffy was charging for all that. And when I say Puffy was charged for all that, all that money went to Puff Pocket. Oh yeah, you want me to do my dance in the video? You want me to come on and say, take that, take that? Yeah, we taking that, all right? I'm getting paid for it. And that's the truth about the situation, man. Hell no, nah, I wouldn't have gave Puffy no second album for what? I ain't made all the money I should have made off all these remixes. I ain't made all the money I should have made off the first album. You holding, y'all holding points. See, what they used to do back then is this. Say you sign a record label. I mean, sign a record deal for like four or five albums, right? This what they would do. They would give you advance on your first one. See how your first one do. Now, remember, you didn't got the advance. So now you already in debt because they didn't give you the advance already. You already in debt. Now, when it comes to your second project, the label want to control that whole thing, and then they gonna tell you, but wait, we ain't giving you another advance on the second one because you already signed for so many album deals and we didn't already gave you this advance. Sometimes it work out for people, sometimes it don't. By the time it was time for Mace felt like he should have had way more money to get another advance, some help. He done did enough remixes for a whole nother album. He did, did enough songs to keep Puffy up. All broken glass everywhere. If it ain't about the money, oh, I just don't care. Like all that. You know what I'm saying? More money, more prop. Y'all know Puffy and Mace was going crazy out here with the with the shiny suits and everything. And Mace was working. He was working hard. Should have just had a nine to five though at that point. Cause he never he never made nowhere near the amount of money that he should have made at all period and puffy knew it because puffy was the one that was taking the money so all that stuff y'all hear from mason his voice and his publishing and all that to his day that's buying uh puffy son them haircuts yeah just yeah like yeah that song he just put out with uh kodak black his son put that song out with kodak black yeah mace paid for that <laughs> So y'all got to think about it. All them hits Mace had over the years has generated money Mace has never got. Because it has always went to Puffy. Your publisher checks ain't going to start coming to you until you get ownership of your own publishing. Puffy owned his publishing. So this is what Puffy used to do. Okay, you want out the deal? I bet. I'll let you out the deal. Give me like, uh, give me one million. Mace don't want to give Puffy the one million. He drop a freestyle. It's how they go crazy. He come back, uh, he drop another, uh, song or something. He freestyle or something. It go crazy. Puffy shoot the price back up to like three, four, five million. That's why when 50 Cent wanted Mace, Puffy seen that 50 Cent was trying to get Mace hot. He told 50, I'll give him to you, shit, like two million. And if you don't want to give me the two million a day, you call me next week, it's going to be three million. That's why that's why Puff, that's why 50 Cent keeping that grudge with Puff. Because he feel like Puff tried to swindle him in a deal. 
So you know what I'm saying? That's the truth behind the whole situation, man. Mason never got all his money. And I hate to say it, but I mean, he never will. Them spins and all that, it slow down, man. But I mean, it was a time and era where, where Mace and Puffy was just running it. Hit after hit after hit. Mace was on every remix, song after song after song. He never made all his money. Ain't doing no second album. That shit dead. Hell no. And Puffy steady hitting with this promo, this promo, this promo. But Puffy was getting checks. So imagine Puffy pulling up to you. Bentley, he iced out everything. Hey, hey, yeah, man, this a promo. You nigga, you saying everything promo, but you eating good. <laughs> it, it's a promo, but Puffy got the mansion. Puffy got the new cars. Puffy got the And think about it. Puffy ain't the rapper. He the CEO. He flossing and flexing harder than everybody. And he's just the CEO. And that's the truth about the whole situation, man. So now, uh... Puffy, you wrong, and to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying, Mace wrong. He let it go on for too long. What he should have did was stay cold, and when Puffy was trying to let him go for that half a million, a million or two, pay Puff that half a million, a million or two, he'd have got his publishing and all that back, could have came back and been doing music. But now, every time he get hot, Puffy go up on the price. That's why he never got out that contract, and Puffy been on his publish for years. That's why he can go on stage, and if Puffy don't want to perform, Puffy could tell people he better not perform or I'm going to sue y'all, because Puffy the one that still got his rights to this day. Messed up situation, man. But y'all get in the comment box, man. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Buddha, I'm out.